वेलकम एवरी वन टू द विल्ड रीकैप ऑफ द सेकेंड डे ऑफ द वर्ल्ड रैपिड चैंपियनशिप ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री वॉडर इन द टूर्नामेंट लेट्स फर्स्ट गो टू द ओपन सेक्शन हियर दिस इज वेर वी हैव मैग्नस कार्लसन प्लेइंग अगेंस्ट हिज ओपोनेट्स हिज बोर्ड इज फिक्स बिकॉज दिस एंटायर सेटअप दैट इज देयर इज डन बाय द एन आर के टी वी एंड दे नीड टू कीप इट फिक्स दे कैनॉट कीप इट मूविंग एवरी राउंड So Magnus is currently the leader of the tournament with 7 out of 9 but he's not alone he didn't have a particularly great day because he scored 2 and 1/2 points only today he won against Vidit in the first game which was shaky because the game was drawn Vidit somehow went wrong and Magnus won but after that he has had 3 draws against Arjun against um, Yu Yangi and against Fedosiev and so the other two players who have joined magnus at the top are fedosiev and yu yangi so there are three players at seven points but what about the indian players well arjun erigaisi is at six and a half and so is vidit gujarati just half a point away from the leaders but there's also one more surprise at the top for india at six and a half is the 16 year old prodigy bharat subramaniam now bharat is well known in india he became a gm at a very tender age of 13 years or so but at a world level he has not yet been known so i think this is the big breakthrough for him he's beaten some great players today he beat uh, brunello sabino he beat sandeep anchanda in the first round he beat vincent kaimer so fantastic chess there <clears throat> in the women section we have two leaders uh, we have only one leader actually sole leader on 7 out of 8 anastasia bodnaruk and she is leading the field right now but half a point behind her are two players koneru hampi and zaimo so koneru hampi we hope is able to sort of win tomorrow and get to the top she's already been the world rapid champion in 2019 and maybe this is the second title in her kitty priyanka nutakki played excellently today she scored three wins against three grandmasters vaishali uh gunina and zuchen which is amazing so priyanka nutaki is on 6 points out of 8 and also very likely to finish strongly now in this recap we i gave you all about the standings and i told you what's happening tomorrow we have four rounds uh, in in the open we have three rounds in the women but i also want to show you the best moment of the day i'm going to choose two moments today just like i did yesterday but i also want to tell you that in wilder we have a challenge that is going on which is the best moments of the day so you can actually download the app go there and take part in that challenge and you can post whatever you think is the best moment of the day for you today tomorrow on all the days of this championship and you can win some exciting prizes there are prizes worth close to 20000 there and also some very nice products so let's first go to this uh board that i have set up here this board shows a fantastic game between sl narayanan who is playing with the white pieces and vladimir fedosiev who is now one of the leaders of the tournament so in this position just look at it carefully it's equal material black is clearly on the offensive but here it's not so easy to break through if you take here i'm ready to take back and everything looks quite okay black played the move c5 and now over here sl narayanan gave a check king came up and suddenly you can see a battery is created here so white put the bishop on e4 what a nice move black took and here if you take back then i'll take the bishop because the bishop is protected by the knight so king went to g2 at this point it was not so clear how was black going to win but fedosiev took here king went to h2 he gave another check now the king has only one place to go if you go to h3 then i have knight f2 double check and when you come here i can simply take your bishop so that does not work so after this check went here again a check here and it seemed like there is no easy way to 
win this position. But there is a beautiful move that Fedosi have played here. Black to play. Can you spot it? Yes, the move is the stunning Bishop D5. You can see there is a pin here, but there is also a pin here. So beautiful this is. So, and if you were to take queen takes, then unfortunately my knight jumps in and gives a fork. So I really loved this move for the geometry that it creates on the board. And this is one of my favorite moves of today. Um, let me know yours. What was it in the Wilder Challenge? I'll put the link in the description. Now, to end today's recap, I'm going to show you a game which happened today uh, with my very good friend. And um, the reason why I want to show you is not really to say uh, that, look what happened with him. It's for the reason that even the best in the business make mistakes in chess. This is Surya Ganguly playing with the white pieces against Mukhaddin uh, Madaminov. Now, Surya with white opens the game with one e4. Opponent plays e5, knight comes out to f3, knight c6, he puts his pawn on d4, takes, knight takes. It's the scotch and now the queen comes here to f6. This is well-known line, you are putting pressure on d4. So Surya goes back with his knight. In comes a check, pawn comes forward and the bishop moves back. Here, bishop d3 was played and black now played knight e5. And guess what Surya Ganguly played here? Well, he took the knight on e5 and he got checkmated here. Yes, it was the scholar's mate here and this is what happened to a world-class GM. Later on, I asked him as to what went wrong and he mentioned that in this position, he was very keen to play queen c2 and if knight e5, now you can take because f2 is guarded. But when he was actually thinking, he played bishop d3 and when opponent played here, he still had queen c2 in his mind and that was the lapse which he had. But the story doesn't end here. The amazing part of the story is that after he lost this game, imagine, it's so um, embarrassing, right, for such a great player to lose like this. He immediately came back in the next game, which shows his mental strength. It shows what a strong player he is, not just on the board, but also mentally. And I think kudos to Surya for achieving this. And also, uh, you guys would have enjoyed this because I know many of you try to do scholars mate in your games, but now, it also happens at top level chess. For now, this is Sagar Shah signing off from the second day of recap, Wilder recap. Take care, guys.